give something back to Blin, we call ourselves uh, Fifty Shades of Migrants. <laughs> Um, because yeah, no, we're over we we are over sixty nationalities in the project, and um, I think that's also like maybe why we became so successful. Um, because yeah, we don't make this distinction like yeah, if you're from U.S. or Germany or Sweden or France or Afghanistan, Syria, and uh, because also as a migrant, it doesn't matter. Like of course you all bring different luggage and different stories with you but some things are quite universal it's not this kind of like oh here a german person is coming to help you <laughs> hello now this german person will give you a friend and what we saw when we started give something back to berlin 2013 was there was quite few meeting points where this happened naturally and that didn't feel forced uh, or staged we are connecting around music in one project or we're connecting around art um, in one project and we're connecting about um, around language in one but then through that like you create all this yeah this kind of like super organic <coughs> integration somehow there's so many <laughs> success stories you, you don't really know where to where to start but because we have this like monthly team up event where like big parts of our community like they really come regularly so you can really follow like the development like uh, from the people who maybe came one and a half years ago and it's really for me it's really fascinating to see first of all how quick people learn German like really quick if you compare to like my you know American French friends or like you know like it's 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 almost embarrassing you know I think people also, I think sometimes we under, underestimate how much people can actually change meeting one single person, getting one person's story. And it's something completely different sitting face to face with that story uh, or with that person than reading it in, you know, on your iPad or like on your phone or that human contact is so important and that's what what we're really trying to do to create those human connections to be honest today like that community or your family there can be a lot of different political you know um, worldviews in one family or like in one community and there's a lot of political discussions but like if you have a couple of people like that who you know they meet uh, refugees uh, like they've been interacting like they have friends like then you can kind of I don't know you you know how to 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 have those conversations to to talk about it and I don't know stand up for those things and it's very easy if you make these kinds of projects to kind of stay within your to use the trendy word echo chamber and just uh, you know move within the same kind of um, political politically minded uh, circles but um, through, uh, th especially through the volunteering, I think we're really, really able to go beyond those uh, traditional um, bubbles and boundaries because, for example, um, we have cooperations with uh, organizations that work with homeless people and um, some parts of the um, socioeconomically uh, disadvantaged uh, population of Germany is very critical of, of Germany's refugee policy because um, what they say is that, hey, I'm, I'm in a really, really bad place. Um, why is there, I'm not, you know, and I'm not appropriating that argument, but the argument is why, why are there apparently funds for refugees but not for me? If you are in a, in a social organization that works, uh, supports uh, homeless people, and all of a sudden uh, there are a whole bunch of international uh, volunteers, including refugees, then you create these meeting points outside of the usual kind of uh, lefty uh, political bubble. Um, and then you have these conversations and uh, sometimes, of course, sometimes uh, stereotypes may reinforce or, or people might not get along, or, but that's, that's perfectly normal. At least you have these conversations outside of the normal bubble. So I think in a sense we, we, do, um, we do reach people that are skeptical uh, of the development sometimes. And I think also, like, I think there's a, a huge lack of meaning in a lot of people's life. And that goes uh, for people volunteering as well. And people need meaning. And what we're doing is essentially we're creating, we're creating meaning in a lot of people's life. And uh, that's, um, that's not unterschätzen. Like, um, 
it's not to be underestimated. It's, it's not to be underestimated, like, uh, also for the people who, like, when you're helping each other, there's, you're helping yourself also, and, uh, yeah, I think that's, um, it's, it's beautiful to, to see and uh, be able to contribute to that.